In this video, we'll be looking at optimizing shapes in three dimensions. You can see in front of you, I've um, created a picture with several different prisms. All of the prisms have the same surface area, 54 centimeters squared. But they're all different dimensions. Okay, some are uh, long and narrow, some are flat, and we want to see if we can figure out the dimensions of the square base prism that has the maximum volume if the surface area is 54 centimeters squared. And we're going to figure that out by doing some calculations. So why don't you predict which one of these five you think will have the maximum volume. And in a few minutes we'll see if you're right. So we'll fill in a table with our prisms, looking at the length, width, and height. So prism number one has a base length of one, a base width of one, and a height of 13 centimeters. And like the question says, has a surface area of 54 centimeters squared, and a volume of one times one times 13, length times width times height, of 13 centimeters cubed. So considering how much surface area there is, there's not a whole lot of volume. So let's go on to our next prism, prism number two. Prism number two has a length and a width of two and a height of 5.75. Again, the surface area stays the same and our volume, two times 2 times 5.75 increases to 23 centimeters cubed. Why don't you fill in the rest of the chart for prism 3, 4, and 5 and see if you can identify which of these five prisms maximizes the volume. Compare your table with mine. I filled in the information for the rest of my prisms. We can see that prism number five, the really wide based prism that doesn't have much of a height, can only hold about five cubic centimeters of liquid. It only has a volume of five cubic centimeters. Whereas that nice, tall, long prism can hold 13 centimeters cubed. And it looks like prism number three can hold the most volume, 27 centimeters cubed. What kind of shape is prism three? Prism 3 is a cube, 3 by 3 by 3, same dimensions on every side. So it looks like the cube is the prism that has the optimal volume. For prisms, cubes maximize volume, and they also minimize the surface area or the amount of material you'd need to make it. If you want to create a prism that has the maximum volume but the least surface area, you should use a cube. So if we built a box out of cardboard, what's the maximum volume that you can enclose? Well, let's think about that box. If we're thinking about maximum volume, then we're thinking about using a cube shape. So, since this is a cube, the length, width, and the height are all equal. Length, width, and height are all equal since we're using a cube, since we're trying to maximize the volume of this box. So the volume of this box is equal to length times width times height, or L cubed. The surface area of a cube is equal to the area of all six sides of this box added together. And the area of one side is going to be length times length, or L squared. If we have six sides on a box, the area is or the surface area is going to be 6 times L squared. So if we know that we have 5400 centimeters squared of surface area to work with, 
we can solve for the length first by dividing 5400 by 6 and you should get 900 equals L squared and then we can take the square root of 900 to solve for L and if you try that you should get 30 so a length of 30 gives us our surface area of 5400 and now I can take that length of 30 and plug it into my volume equation for L and find the cube of 30 and I get a volume of 27,000 centimeters 27,000 centimeters cubed. What about cylinders? Cylinders have a radius and a height. Which of these cylinders will both maximize the volume but at the same time minimize the surface area? So I can see that the first cylinder, the really tall cylinder, will definitely give me a lot of volume but my surface area is also going to be very high. It's not going to be a minimum. I need a lot of material to make this. Um, this cylinder here, the short one, will definitely minimize the surface area, but it won't give me much volume to work with. And the answer is in the middle. And in fact, if you think about what you've seen so far, you've seen in two dimensions that shapes that are optimal are squares. And you just saw in this video that in three dimensions a prism that's optimal is like a cube and it's not much different when we're dealing with cylinders we want a cylinder that looks as much like a cube as possible and to do that we need to create a cylinder whose height is equal to twice the radius or whose height is equal to the diameter of the cylinder so we're making a cylinder that looks as much like a square as possible by creating a cylinder whose height is the same as the diameter. There you go, you can see right there. My diameter line that I've drawn on this cylinder is exactly equal to the height. So for cylinders, the optimal shape has a height that's equal to the diameter or if you prefer a height that's equal to two times the radius. We know two things about cylinders based on the work you've done. We know that volume of a cylinder is equal to pi r squared times h and the surface area of a cylinder is equal to 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. These are the formulas we've been working with. What we can do now that we're dealing with optimization is we can take the value that makes our cylinder optimal and we can sub it into the equation. So in volume if we take out the variable h and we sub in 2 r we can simplify this equation to 2 pi r cubed, that's the volume of an optimal cylinder, and the surface area when we take out h and sub in 2 r becomes 2 pi r squared plus 4 pi r squared, and these are now like terms that we can add together so the surface area of an optimal cylinder is equal to 6 pi r squared. And these are the two formulas that we can use to solve problems. Such as, determine the dimensions of the cylinder with a maximum volume that can be made with 600 centimeters squared of material. This is a surface area. 
And we just saw that surface area of an optimal cylinder is equal to 6 pi r squared. We can use this number, 600, to solve for r. So I can take 600 and I can divide it by 6 pi and that equals r squared. So 600 divided by 6 pi. 600 divided by 6 pi is about 31.8. And then if I take the square root of that, I get a radius of about 5.64. I can then take that radius and sub it into my optimal volume equation, which is 2 pi r cubed. And I can sub in that number, 5.64 for r. And that gives me a volume of about 1,128. 0.4 centimeters cubed. The question wants to know the dimensions of this cylinder that have the maximum volume. So the dimensions would be a radius of 5.64 centimeters and a height that is double that. So a height of 11.28. So when we're dealing with prisms, and we're optimizing prisms, we're looking for prisms that are cubes. So our volume is equal to L cubed, and our surface area is equal to 6 times the length squared. Those are the two formulas you need to use when you're optimizing prisms. When we're optimizing cylinders, we're looking for the volume equation. Volume equals 2 pi r cubed and the surface area equation of 6 pi r squared. Ooh.